Multiple sclerosis, or MS, is one of the most common disorders of the central nervous system in adults, afflicting up to 2.5 million people worldwide. The pathological process involves circulating autoaggressive lymphocytes that cross the blood-brain barrier into the central nervous system, which leads to inflammation, tissue damage and ultimately gliosis. These sites of tissue damage can be visualized as lesions on MRI scans. Sphingosine 1-phosphate, or S1P, is a naturally occurring bioactive sphingolipid that plays a key role in MS-relevant processes, including inflammation and repair. S1P1 receptors are widely expressed on lymphocytes, and these receptors regulate the normal egress of lymphocytes from the lymph nodes. During egress, T lymphocytes migrate across an S1P gradient that exists between lymph nodes and the efferent lymph. During a normal protective immune response, the activation of T cells in the lymph nodes causes an internalization of S1P1 receptors, and this prevents their immediate egress to allow optimal activation and differentiation. At the end of the differentiation process, the T cells upregulate S1P1 again, and they egress into the efferent lymph and blood to recirculate to peripheral sites. In patients with MS, circulating autoaggressive lymphocytes cross the blood-brain barrier into the central nervous system, where they cause inflammation and tissue damage. The resulting inflammation destroys the myelin sheets that surround the axons and oligodendrocytes are lost in great numbers, leading to demyelination, along with axonal and neuronal loss and gliosis. The central nervous system can repair itself after injury. However, upon repeated inflammatory attacks, these endogenous repair mechanisms become less and less successful because of the inhibitory environment within the lesion sites. Thus, there is some recovery in the early stages of the disease. But following recurrent inflammatory attacks, the repair mechanisms become less effective, and attacks increasingly cause tissue damage and gliosis. Current first-line standard treatments primarily target the inflammatory component of the disease and are partially effective. Novel treatments are needed that can directly target the central nervous system and involve neurodegenerative and repair processes in addition to reducing inflammation.